Merry Christmas. It is Christmas evening in the year 2020, the year that will go down in infamy and all that jazz, <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> I have not a single thing that I'm needing or wanting to talk about. It's, it's just that I wanted to connect. It's been a really challenging Christmas for just about everybody I know and then all the people I don't know. I know a lot of us have been alone this holiday season and today and tonight. Many of us are without the ability to connect with family and with friends. And it's, it's just been really tough. Uh, and I'm here, I survived. And if you're watching this, you survived. So yay us, we just keep surviving. And I, I know that when things are this tough, when things are challenging, it is so easy to compare where we've been before in, in the before times, how life was, and to compare how we were then with how we are now, with how we're dealing with things now, with how we're dealing with life now. It's real easy to compare the before us with the now us and to feel like we've come up short in some kind of a way that we're, we can get disappointed in ourselves and feel ashamed that we're not handling things that we used to handle with, with no effort, with ease. And I think we need to give ourselves a break right now because we've never been through this before. We humans on planet Earth who are alive now have never been through circumstances and challenges like we, like we have in the past year this year of 2020 that's almost over. Yeah, humans have had pandemics and plagues before, but there have been some extra challenges and we're going through a shift as a human species, a shift of ages, a shift of maturity, a shift of going from one stage of development into another. And we have not navigated this before ever. So here we are and we're doing it no matter what we're doing it. And I hope you can give yourself some credit. I hope you can let it land that you're being very brave, very courageous, very strong, even if you're faltering, even if you're falling apart, even if you're falling flat on your butt, you're still here. That means something. I heard today something about we can choose courage or we can choose comfort, but we, <laughs> we can't choose both at the same time. And part of me is like, no, damn it. I want my courage and my comfort. I want them both. And I guess there is comfort to be had when we are courageous. And it's easy to feel courageous if we're comfortable. But when we're uncomfortable, and we have to rise up and choose courage. Yeah, it's not for the faint of heart. So if you're watching this, if you have found this, if you've been watching me talk incessantly about all manner of things and you're still here watching me, thanks. I appreciate that. Because for a good part of this year, this has been my, my primary means of connecting with humanity. I get to talk out loud, you get to hear me. It's, it's not real time, it's not live. Maybe I'll do some more of those. But this is really me, really showing up real time as I am. And you get to show up as you are in your real time. And we have this connection happening. And that means something to me. That matters to me and, and I hope it matters to you. I hope you can give yourself all kinds of credit for having gotten through everything you've gotten through this year. People have had financial losses and losses to health and losses to mobility and losses to connections with family members and friends. And some of you, some of us have lost people we love, whether it's because of a relationship that's ended 
or whether it's because someone you love passed on, whether from this virus or something else. Loss is a big part of human life. So I hope you're giving yourself all the credit that you need for what you've gone through and for what is left for us all to get through. I'm just kind of feeling that I'm just kind of letting that be absorbed, this sense of having survived and learning to thrive in challenging significantly different ways than we thought we might have to. God, 2020 looks so shiny and new when it first erupted. I mean, it was, it was whole new digits, you know, 2020, not 20 and a teen, but 2020, the year of hindsight. And I guess we really can't look back on this time, on this year, with accurate hindsight until we've gotten all the way through it. I'm looking forward to 2021. I'm looking forward to whatever it brings. And I don't know. I'm as much in the dark as everybody else with what's around the corner in my own personal life, in our collective lives, in what's going to happen in, in the United States, what's going to happen in other countries, what's going to happen with the virus, what's going to happen with the opportunity to receive the vaccine. Um, will each of us choose yes or no regarding that? Will it be a decision based on the wisdom of our bodies? Will they have worked out the kinks? Will Will it be a necessity in order to get through this particular chapter? And when will life look normal again? How many months, quarters will it take before we can be back out there doing whatever looks like normal life again? And will it ever look like normal life again? You know, I hope we learned something this year because what we were doing for normal, it wasn't too healthy. Normal isn't always natural. And I would like to get back to some, well, back forward into some kind of a life that's sane and healthy and meaningful and purposeful for all of us human beings and our entire ecosystem. That merger of, of the ancient ways of balance with the modern ways of technology and bringing these things into a beautiful merger because we can't go back. We have to go forward. And all of this is starting to sound a little bit more like a New Year's Eve vlog instead of a Christmas night vlog. So maybe I'll repeat myself in a few days. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stop now. I just wanted to connect with the rest of all y'all and say hi and congratulations on getting through what was probably for most of you, most of us, the most challenging holiday season ever. And here I am and there you are and here we are. I feel hope, not the kind of hope that when is deferred makes the heart sick. I don't like that kind of hope, but this, this kind of hope that's, that's birthed in here, that, that's germinated in the dark, that wants to come out to the light, that it's full of potentiality and possibility and laden with all of the hope of the tomorrows to come. I feel that hope. I am pregnant with that hope. And I know what pregnancy feels like. <laughs> Had 11 of them. Eight babies, 11 pregnancies. And yes, I'm done. I'm done. With that kind of pregnancy. But I'm, I'm willing to embrace the the stirrings of new life that I feel inside of me for whatever's around the corner, whatever's next. 
I say yes. I say yes to my soul's purpose and whatever's next for me. I hope you can too. I hope you can feel those glimmers, those stirrings of the new life of hope within you. And I hope you can say yes to your soul's purpose. Yes, please. Thank you. I can't account for it. It's not like there's something tangible. It's not like I have proof. It's just I'm nurturing this new life of hope. So I say yes and thank you. And more, please. Yeah. That's about it, really. I don't have anything profound or guru esque to utter tonight. It's just past midnight on Christmas night in the year 2020. And all is well and getting weller. Bad grammar, excellent sentiment. I hope you're okay. I hope you can trust that you're going to be okay. I hope you can find that place inside of yourself that knows if you're still here, there's a reason you're still here. And we're all gonna get through this together. Thank you for watching this. I wish you a blessed Yule, a Merry Solstice, a Merry Christmas, happy holidays of all kinds to all of you. And I'll see you in a few days when I say bye-bye to 2020. Good night.